people my people now we love our mates in australia it's one of the great myths of australia is that we look after our mates and we look out for our mates and mateship is apparently deeply um important to the average australian male or at least it was certainly in my father's generation back in the 40s and 50s now tonight i'm actually going to be looking after one of my mates and one of my mates happens to be kim amos who runs mates distillery in montagi go and see the um quite beautiful review held in the deepest darkest gippslandish state town of montagi with kim it'll be an absolute blast so tonight i'm reviewing the um miners pick now as you can see, the fact that I'm wearing a jumper uh, over my uniform, um, it's getting a bit brisk in Melbourne. Winter has truly arrived early. So this baby is a hearty 51%. Um, no sound of happiness because screw it up. Now let's try the smell of happiness. Oh yeah. I'm smelling a nice dry gin on this baby. Now, sorry, just... Checking in a little bit of equipment is yes, good. Lights are flashing where they should. So the smell of happiness is this is a nice, beautiful dry gin. Now oh yeah. Nice big citrus hit on this baby. And I will have to put my brain on. It says uh, cinnamon cassia with underlying citrus note. Yes. Yes, both. There is a strong cinnamon, there's strong cassia. In fact, they're actually cousins. Um, cinnamon by memory is uh, cinnamon. Cassia cinnamomum, and I think Cassia might just be trapped now. Cassia, Cassia. Um, so, yeah. So, nice citrus note. Yeah, try it. Be civilized. Thanks, Chris. Gin dispensary. Chris is busily doing a yeah, meet the distillers tonight, which would be the 3rd of May. So, I will wish, wish you a retrospect. I hope you had a happy Lord Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Um, because It'll be aired the week after. So, and then no two careers. Drinking the hour class, dude. Yeah. Straight up and down. Big on the um, juniper, big on the, on the cinnamon, big on the citrus. Now, before I go any further, I reached out to Kim and said to her, okay, what mixer should I drink this with? And she said, long way citrus. Searched high, searched low, searched in the middle shelves. Couldn't find any long way citrus. What I have found is Fever Tree Mediterranean. You may have noticed my darling wife and I did a little bit of um, market research. All right? Filming this up to you, not all. Looking like this at me. Um, and we decided this goes really well with Fever Trees Mediterranean, which is basically citrus based. So I'm going to pour a healthy measure of this out. Yep, that looks like. Whack it on ice, despite the fact that it's edging into an early winter. Um, and we'll combine it with the appropriate tonic. So I'll just put this slightly out of my way, down to one side, because after all, the main labels appeared just there. Um, that's because right there, I do these things at the end of my fingertips. You'd be surprised. There it is again. I can do it that too. Um, so I'm going to do the sound of happiness. That's not the sound of happiness. And I'm going to combine this baby with a nice fever tree. Um, sorry. And are you enjoying the uh, playlist, toddies, cocktails, etc.? Um, the Milo cock, uh, toddy with two whiskies. So I tried it with two different uh, whiskies from Chief Sun. Oh, just kill it, you know. With the cold winter weather coming into Australia, a Milo toddy, do, people, do, do that. It's a great way to kill an afternoon, you know. It's 
sleeting outside in Melbourne and that's what you do. Get some great local whiskey, try an Aussie iconic drink, the Milo, some pretty full fat milk, mix it, you know, heat, heat up the milk if you must, or you can have it cold, whack in a shot or two of the um, good Chief Sons, the Tennist or the 900 Standard, and you're going to feel a little cozy and cuddly inside. I've been saying that, what's this one? Fiddles. So that's the other playlist. Go and watch the um, toddies and simple cocktails because it has to be simple cocktails because this is a simple person. Oh yeah. You know the really good part about this is Mates Distillery is actually set up to help a charity. I know. It's a brilliant business concept. There should be a lot more of it. So the entire thing is, is, is when you go and see the interview uh, that I did with Kim in, um, from the still, I think it's the most recent interview I've done. If not, it's one or two down the list. Um, the whole concept of Mates Distillery is with so many charities knocking your door and you know, doing things that the intersections are being annoying, Kim being the intelligent, good-looking woman that she is, and a good friend of mine, um, thought, okay, rather than going out to people, how can I help you know, create a situation in which people come to me? And unless you've been living under a rock somewhere out in the outer, outer Plutonian orbit for the last couple of hundred thousand years, you may realise Australians love booze. You know? um, so what you do, you start a distillery. And that way, when you, people get known, oh, there's a distillery in town. Have you tried that Mesa distillery? It's really very good. People, the money came to her. She didn't have to go to the money. Money comes to her. Um, I went to her. I traveled 200 kilometers to go to, to Kim to buy this stuff. And so that's how good it is. The Mesa distillery concept is, you know, people will follow, come far and wide to visit your distillery and 50% of her profits go towards charities. See? I just think it's magnificent. You're not going down there to load up on first-rate booze. Goodness gracious, no. You're going down there to help a charity. So think of it that way. Go and tell it to your other half. Darling, I'm taking the day off. I'm going down to Wandagi and I'm helping a charity. The fact that, well, your friends pour you through the back door 12 hours later, you, you know, wish them a happy good night, and then you trip over the dog and startle the cat and then fall into bed. That's irrelevant. You're going to want Aggie, and you're helping local businesses, and you're helping a local charity. God, I'm such a good guy for you guys. I help you with all the, the tips to get out of the shippers with your spouse. Anyway, let's try this, baby. It's chilled. It's about as cold as a look from my mother-in-law. Sorry. Nothing could ever be that cold. Oh, here's a mental image for you. It's a day like it was last Sunday, be about uh, the end of April. I happen to be down there, at Kilcunda, on the Basque Coast. You got the, boy, this wonderful surf coast, um, Bass Straits before you. It's a bright autumn day. The sun is shining. There are seagulls stealing shit everywhere and the wind is coming off the ocean and the surf is just booming into the rocks at the feet and what have you got you've got this gin with that tonic and you're rocking it back like this and you know what that is that's a damn perfect life a fantastic way to spend an afternoon i'm here to help i'm odin drink that help a charity combine it with that in Kilkanda, you're helping local tourism. Why many more tips do I have to give? Anyway, stay tuned. Um, where will I go next week? I think I will go to here, which is the cherry gin from Dasher and Fisher. Now, a little bit of a thing. I could not for the life of me find cherry cola in Melbourne. No one sells it. Apparently, um, cherry cola is an American thing, and Aussies have decided that it's completely disgusting and not even Woolworths will stock it. So, 
this one, which is there, replacing what was there, which is that, the, the um, Mates Distillery, is next week because we all need a nice cherry to help save off those winter chills. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, follow, and stay tuned for um, just alcoholic awesomeness. I'll catch you. Bye.